Now, Lee DeMars, who's a Canadian filmmaker of some repute, he made a movie called Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. He's, he's uh, been quite successful. He's made some money. He's gotten awards. His movies have been in film festivals around the world. And, and, and he made a recent movie in which he cast me. It was called Harry Knuckles and the Pearl Necklace. And I'll tell you, that Pearl Necklace tasted damn good. It was kind of salty and a little bit sticky. But it, well, at any rate, Lee DeMars, he likes to, to experiment a lot, and, and which is what makes him so interesting. And on, the, on this particular movie, he, he did experiment. He tried something different. And, and, well, maybe you should decide whether it worked. Let's watch. And speaking of pearl necklaces, Lee DeMar also gave me the map of Hawaii, which I didn't appreciate very much because it went all over my blue gap dress. What, what's going on? Where are we? Well, we're in Ottawa. We're on our way to pick up Phil for uh, today's shoot on the set of Harry Knuckles and the uh, Pearl Necklace. How are you shooting this movie? We're shooting it on a Bolex, a 16mm uh, Bolex. And we're working today entirely with 100 foot rolls of uh, Kodak film. So I just love how versatile a Bolex is. I can, I can run with a Bolex, I can crouch down and get into really awkward places of the Bolex wh where I can't get with an airy. I can climb ladders and get into really dangerous spots and it just, I find it, it frees me. Uh, you know, I want to shoot on 16 millimeter film because I think Harry Knuckles belongs on celluloid, but um, you know, the Bolex frees me as a, a you know, as a cameraman to uh, just do about anything I want to do. This is my second feature on shooting entirely with a Bolex camera. What's sure. the downside? What is the downside to a Bolex? The downside is that it's loud, so you can't record sync sound, but that's not what I'm going for anyway. We're, we're recording everything. We're, we're recording everything MOS, and then we're dubbing in the, uh, dubbing in the, the dialogue tracks later. Sometimes a Bolex, the springs get uh, a little, you know, a little fucked up, and it's supposed to film at 24 frames a second, but if the springs are wonky, you know, you might get some actors uh, performing in high speed, sort of, uh, you know, like from the 20s, a silent film from the 20s. You're not going to have a sound man on the sets. How do you get the sound in sync? Well, uh, usually what I do is uh, we, we film everything. I transfer the film on Telecine, the, the 16 millimeter footage, and play it on a television, and that same actor reads it back. He knows that he has to say that instead of it. In your case, Lloyd, we're going to... Uh, we're going to videotape you saying your lines as we film, and then tonight when we get home, we're going to play the videotape, and you're going to just sort of uh, say the line again and do uh, a, you know, a mini disc. And we'll record you while you're in Ottawa, and so I don't have to chase you down in New York. Or Sometimes I uh, lose actors. We film with them, and then they move away, and often my wife uh, dubs in a lot of the female voices, and. Uh, Maybe I might dub in some of the uh, male voices. So uh, sometimes it's funny to uh, use an actor and use a different voice. Um, in other words, you seem to be very self-contained and uh, as opposed to being in L.A. or New York. Well, I feel, you know, being in a small town, it's kind of exciting for other people to work on a feature film, or a film in general. So, you know, you go to a restaurant, you go to the Dominion and say, you know, hey, we want to shoot a movie here on, a, on Sunday morning. Could we shoot a movie in the Dominion on Sunday morning? We'll say, well, yeah, movie, great, that sounds fun. But in New York, New York or L.A., maybe the Dominion is approached ten times a week. So, uh, you know, the excitement of making a movie, having to get up early, is not uh, as enticing as it is, you know. But I, I imagine it's exciting for a lot of people in Ottawa where there's not a large uh, film community, filmmaking community, that, uh, that making a movie in Ottawa is kind of exciting for them. What's your main advice to uh, people making making their own damn movies? I'd say keep it keep it a learning process. For me, uh, I like to um, you know, always learn from what I'm doing. Although this is our fourth film, and I feel very comfortable with a Bolex camera, I feel a way to keep my you know excitement level up. You know, if you keep it a learning experience and try new things and and uh, make those uh, ideas work, those new ideas work, um, then that's really exciting. That's a way of keeping your level up. We'll probably be about 10 minutes late, so if you can just keep uh, everyone on, you know, everyone calm and hanging out at the Dominion. Uh, I think Mike, Mike was at that party too last night, so hopefully by the time we get there, the Dominion will be open and we can all get in and get ready. So I'll be there 10 minutes later than I should be. Okay, right on, bye. So what happened? Uh, that was the writer. Uh, well, there was a, we're shooting at a bar at the Dominion Tavern, and there was a writer, uh, sorry, there was a wedding party there last night. 
there was a wedding and the reception was at the Dominion, so there was a big party and everyone, everyone who uh, I'm kind of counting on for today was at that party last night, including Phil, who plays Harry, our lead, <laughs> who sort of just got, a, got up. And uh, the guy who's opening the door for us isn't at the Dominion yet, so uh, he knows to be there for 12.30 now, and I do have his number, so we, um, I think we're going to get started a little later than planned. But, you know, that's okay. I'm not paying these guys, so I can't get really, I can't get mad at them. I can only, uh, you know, I can only uh, get what I deserve, I guess, with no money. What, what, what are we doing now? Well, well Phil's uh, almost about ready. It's now a quarter to one. Um, don't you think uh, the actor should be severely chastised for holding us up like this? And I can't chastise my lead. Why he's, not? He's, uh, well, Phil, Phil's older than me. He's my boss at the, at the Bytown Cinema. Oops. <laughs> so if I chastise him, he's going to make me work for it. He's going to pay me back by uh, mopping the floors at the Bytown or, you know, cleaning the butter off the, the ceiling. I, uh, no. I, I can't, like I said, I'm not paying him, so I, he had fun last night, and his good friend got married, so I, I'm really not in the position to say, you know, let's get a move on. It's the weekends, too. That's the tricky thing about shooting on the weekends is everyone goes out and gets drunk the night before and whatever else. So we shoot on the weekends because I can't afford to uh, ask Phil and others to um, take time off of work. I can't pay them to take time off of work, and uh, they, most of them have their weekends free, so... Saturdays and Sundays are really the only, I'm forced to only shoot on those days. And it always turns out to be Sundays just because uh, no one works on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Phil. So was you calling all morning? I called, yeah, twice. Just to say that we were on our way. We were... Hey, Steve. Hey, Phil. Mr. Kaufman, how are you? Good, Phil. How are you doing? Okay. Lloyd's doing a trauma documentary at Independent Filmmakers. Mm. Mm. Make your own damn movie yeah. to go with my book so the students can uh, <laughs> learn about making your own damn movie, how to deal with uh, temperamental actors. <laughs> uh. well, let's go. Let's go? You ready? Yeah. Well, hallelujah. <laughs> so what happened, Phil? You were a little late this morning, huh? It's Sunday morning. Well, but this is a movie. <laughs> this is Lee DeMar's movie. Come to the Dominion, Lloyd. Welcome. Thank you. This uh, location of the Dominion is a, a very good um, place to uh, to work in because it's uh, practical, it's large, it's comfortable, it's, uh, it doesn't seem to be getting too hot, and um, there's not much damage one can do. The place is well worn. Uh, you don't want to have locations where people have 18th, 18th century furniture because uh, you don't want to, you know, the place where you have to spend all your effort on the damage control is not a great location. So I'll be uh, doing some acting in um, Lee's movie uh, Harry, Necklace, uh, Harry, uh, Harry Knuckles and the, um, and the uh, Pearl Necklace and uh, I think that it's not a bad idea that anyone who's a film director to do some film acting, you, know, you learn uh, different techniques, you get a sense of what's inside the actor's head so when you're dealing with the actors maybe you can be a bit more tolerant to them and not be so hostile and be a bit more patient you are an actor, you know what they go through. Uh, it's, much, it's a big difference uh, reading about them and actually doing what actors do. So uh, I find it educational. And also for these young people who are making movies in trauma way, um, I find it uh, that I learn things from uh, working on, uh, on new young filmmakers' films, uh, seeing how they solve problems and how they are uh, make, making their own damn movies. Quite the light lights up your side here, but then reflects in the mirror and fills in the other side a little bit. <laughs> and one light, you get both sides filled in. Very good, excellent. Thank you. Good, I've learned something. What do you do for this, Ian? I'm the writer. 
I'm the writer of uh, Harry Knuckles, Harry Knuckles and the Treasure of the Aztec Mummy, Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter, and now Harry Knuckles and the Pearl Necklace. What advice do you have for young filmmakers? I got, find some people you can work with. Find some people who are dedicated and actually want to get the stuff done. Um, you know, we all have day jobs. We all work full days and uh, get together on weekends and uh, make movies. You got to be, uh, you got to be dedicated. You got to find time in your schedule. And when you're working on an independent level, uh, you got to be more than just a writer. You got to be thinking about the production and uh, your your assets and uh, whatever. But if you find something along the way, like for instance, in Jesus, we met a guy who could do motorcycle stunts, so we wrote him into the script. Uh, you got to be open to new ideas and stuff that comes up along the way. What's that little thing in your hand there? Not the, oh, no, no, not that little thing. I meant the, uh, this thing. This, the light meter. How does that work? It meters the light. Just gives you a reading for 24 frames, tells you what f-stop to open up to. You point it at the, at the light? I point it at the light, because I want to know what, how much power the light's giving us, so I point it at the light. And what, what's your theory in terms of the placement of the lights? I like it, it's good. It's well, nice. just tell us what, what, how, did, how did you, what is the design, in other words? Um, About how many lights do you have? We got three lights. You got one light, lighting a fill on this side. We got uh, just a, a white light lighting Peter on that side, and a blue light just in the background, and a little bit on Peter in the back there. Very straightforward. It's very grungy lighting, very hard, very bar-like lighting. None of that soft stuff. So and then you're in. Right? You're getting. You're in. We're getting two eight. And that's a little shy. So you need to bring it halfway through to give it an extra stop. So what? What about? What are we shooting at? Two eight. 2.8? We can't because you don't have the lens, so they'll do it. That's good. Apparently. Okay. So what do I open it? All the way? Yeah. All the way. We're gonna sit. Saying the grand tradition of Canadian filmmaking is available light. If you watch any of the any of the Canadian films like the old tax shelter films from the seventies and early eighties, all shot exteriors, all using available light, even some interiors using available light. So lighting design is is something that we don't do uh, all that much. If you watch our films, it's mostly outdoors. What are you doing? Holding the camera. What's that? Holding the camera, making sure it doesn't fall. Because it's a lousy uh, tripod. What? It's a lousy tripod. See, difficult actors. They always they always criticize actors. These stars, you know, I got the same problem, Lee. These stars, they're so difficult. Uh, leave it over there. See, it's interesting. Uh, they got music playing. They got uh, people drinking beer, and uh, people actually seem to be enjoying themselves on this film, uh, which is quite different from the trauma way of filmmaking. Everybody hates the director, and everybody is uh, not permitted to have music or booze or anything. And um, and uh, it's a nice atmosphere. The other nice thing about doing the Bolex, filming with the Bolex, is since the sound has to be uh, the sound has to be put on afterwards, you can make noise while you don't have to have all those fucking sound guys telling right. you to shut up. We don't have microphones in people's faces. Of course, we have Phil's favorite CD on. He demands it when he's working with the ball act, so, um, you know, it's, what it's important to have fun. What does he demand? Well, what's what's this CD right now? This he, well, he wants to hear the music. He wants... It keeps them loose. Well, you know, in the days of silent pictures, they played music for the actors right. uh, to get them in the mood of the acting before sound came in. So it's not unusual. What Phil is asking is actually very traditional. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool because you know what? Everyone's having fun, and that's important when you're not paying anyone. Oh, the other the, way. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, I think this will be fun. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, excellent. Excellent. Okay. Ole. Is it comfortable? Okay. Right. <laughs> okay, Lee. Okay, should we shoot this? Yeah. Well, you'll be doing real shots. Lloyd, see, Lloyd's character doesn't get drunk. Your character does, so we'll be doing real shots for you. Lloyd will be doing the Steve. Yeah. The old duct tape on the. I'm not sure. It's the Canadian yeah. way of filming right there, eh? Well, it's important because if you drop the camera and this kick cover somehow enlarges, I can uh, expose the film that's in there. And, and ruin it. Well, ruin what's there, and if I shot something that I really like that's there, then yeah, it'd be ruined. That shot, I would lose that moment. Yeah. This is all about saving the moment. So, Ian, what, 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 what's all this about? So, well, this is, this is the script here, Lloyd. This is what you have to say. Your character is the man in the hat. Phil doesn't even have to introduce himself. You're just here and you say, I know who you are, I know why you're here. I can tell you what you need to know, but only slide the glass if you can outdrink me. Okay. <laughs> Action.
I know who you are. And I know why you're here. And I, yes, I can tell you exactly what you need to know. But, but only if you can out-trick me! Yeah! Bring it on! Bring it on! Surf's up! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, where's Mike? Mike? Yeah. You want to pour these drinks for us? Yeah. Is that too much for you? It is. Is that better? And action. Thank you, Craig. So just drink it, Bill. Okay. Yeah. So is the point to get to get Phil totally loaded off this? Yeah. That's awesome. Action. Yeah. All right. Nice. And action. Action. So the actor is uh, drinking genuine Jägermeister. I'm drinking grape juice, but he's drinking the real thing. So uh, I was telling him just the minute move. I was a committed drink, don't worry. He was just dropping to say hi. Phil, uh, no, what are you talking? About? Kevin doesn't come in to drink. Phil, tell the students you've, you've had some. You've been drinking real Jägermeister. Tell the students about why you're doing that. Method acting. Yep. So doesn't it interfere with your performance? Yes, it does. Yes, Lloyd! It does. So, yeah, I know. Yeah, so what? What are you getting at? Well, why don't you know We're just here drinking and filming at the same time. And you're videotaping. That's not right. That's just not right. Anyway, Phil, tell what? the students what is why are you drinking real What students? Who is the Just student? go and talk to the camera. Why are you, you have, drinking? Do you run a kung fu studio or something? <laughs> you ready, guys? You ready, Phil? Oh, my you ready? You ready, Phil? I collect them. What's that? Love you. Oh, no, you <laughs> love you. I know. I'm sorry. Love you. I know you're a Phil, stop moving. <laughs> Thank you. Can, you ready? Please be professional. I have a question. Okay, hey, please, Phil. Jesus Christ, Mr. Professional. Sorry, I'm facing this guy. <laughs> Phil, is there a problem? Do you want to talk somewhere quietly? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay don't Are you ready? Look okay, at hold your on, hold on, hold on. Professional. So is this one shot again? Yeah, it's one oh, fucking shot. Okay, there you go. Stop fucking moving. Stop moving. I'm not moving. Well, you just moved again. Well, I'm taking my position. Okay, you ready? You ready? Action! Action! Drink it, please! <laughs> 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 <Empty glasses. laughs> get rid of those. Get rid of those. Put them down. Let go. Put them down. Okay. <laughs> Okay, when you pick him up and then. Oh, oh. Hey, get the why, camera. Why? Well, uh, seriously, don't you think if you were not, if you were drinking. Hey, Lloyd? Yeah. Number one, cameras bug me. <laughs> but the students want to know about acting. What students? <laughs> why you. Talk about the students. But in other words, why time. you drink real Jägermaster <laughs> instead of grape juice? That's Jägermeister, not well, Jägermaster. Well, whatever you drink, yeah, why do you, why do you, don't you feel you lose control of your acting talents when you, when you, when you get inebriated? No. Well, you can see that the acting uh, here, uh, uh, man is drinking. Jägermeister, Jägermeister, and See, um, you're like what drunk, is and you've been drinking grape juice. The uh, good thing I'm not drinking. The uh, but the point is, he's chosen to drink genuine alcoholic beverage to get into his uh, role. That's Tom my Cruise point. Do that. Some some oh, actors, well, some actors would would say, uh, I want to be totally sober, because because then I'm in control of my acting. And and Does sometimes to act drunk, you know, you like shouldn't. Like advertising, like absolute asshole. You know, sometimes <laughs> like to act drunk, you know, you need to be sober to act drunk. You're filming him, or you're videotaping him.
Why is my face on that thing? Oh no, this lens is there. <laughs> 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 Uh, and that was an acting lesson, ladies and gentlemen. You're having, um, could you enunciate a little better? <laughs> oh, 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 no, I don't. I have no idea. Really, a production. Uh, Lloyd, get that. Not Come either. on. <laughs> no, it's okay. We're, we're, tired. we're not getting anything done. We haven't shot anything today. I we're not even halfway through oh. today. And we got to get out of here within the hour. You getting this? Same. You got to get all this. Let's go. Okay. This is the action. Lloyd puts his down. It wakes you up. Then right you go up. And you take a shot. And then you pass out. Okay. So pour another for Phil. Give Phil that glass right there. Give your glass. I don't trust it. <laughs> okay. So you slam it down and that makes Phil up. Okay. Do you need the other battery? It's working for now. Phil, uh... Right. So, Pat, Phil, you're passed out. You head on your... Okay. Slumped across the bar, Phil. Let go of your glass. You like that? Yeah. yeah you yeah. slam it. Okay, you ready? Okay, you ready? Action. Hold on, Phil. Phil! Said action. No, I said action. Glass goes down, then that wakes you up. Remember? Yeah, but, yeah, but you're not other, listening to me. There are other actors in this scene. Yes, right? there are other actors. <laughs> you slam. Lloyd. Phil, listen, Lloyd please. Lloyd listen, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When Lloyd slams a glass, we've done this. We've done this just two weeks ago. When you, Lloyd slams a glass down, that wakes you up. And then you, well, where am I? Oh, and then you take your shot, and then you pass it. All right, you ready? Yeah. Action. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say this, but please, someone pour one more shot to Phil. Oh, God. <laughs> you're carrying him up. I guess. Yeah. No, you're not, because your yeah, head is no, you're supposed to be passed out. Head on. Uh, no, no, head on, forehead on. Okay. Slump across the right. Phil. No, no, no push it. Phil! <laughs> Please put your you forehead have to put in your, your head. head down like you're sleeping. Pretend you're sleeping. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's, right. right. that's why I'm right. the director. Right. 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 Thank you, Lloyd. You're such a fucking bossy Phil. Lloyd, a little higher with your glass and action. Phil, Phil. Oh, wake up. What? Wait till action. I, I wait till I hit the thing, then you wake up. Okay? Look, we got an actor in trouble. We got an actor in trouble. We got an actor in trouble. Now, don't make him nervous. Okay. Put your head down. Put your head down. You got to pretend to be sleeping. Okay. I know about actors. Thank you, Lloyd. I know all about actors. Okay, here we go. Ready? Thank you. You call it. Call it. Action. No, Phil, you got to wait for the glass to go down. Don't wait for my action. Wait for the glass. Move a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Racing, oh, no, no, he's a nervous, he's an actor in trouble. We have to help him, everyone. Help him. Help no, him. Really help talk him. to him. Help him. We're help him. Oh. I know, I know. He, he well, should have said that. That was very here. insensitive of the director. Very insensitive. <laughs> <laughs> he should never say such a thing. Now, Lee, put your head down. I what do you want talk to actors. Do? I know Phil, we talk. did it a hundred times. I know, but that was another well, You just wait. Well, I'm calling action. Lloyd's going to slap his glass down. When you hear the glass, then you wake up. That's what I'm we, doing. No, you didn't. You were get, getting up before he slammed the glass down. He did it two times. In a row. This. So when I hear the glass slam and then you wake up. You just did it five minutes ago, and you did it two weeks ago, a hundred times perfectly. Phil, please, Mark. please, Phil, Phil, please, He's please do it. Hey, no, Mark, stop you're laughing at Phil, please. Yes, I am because you're not listening to me. Please, Phil. Holy smokes. Okay, so I smash the glass down when I hear the glass. No, you don't smash the glass. Oh, no, I smash when the I hear that, though. You wake when you up. hear that, you'll wake up, take a shot, and pass it. Do you, do you hear this noise? Hear that noise? That's when you act. That's you don't act when I say action, you act when you hear that. Do I drink and pass out? Or? Yes. 
You drink you and want pass to, out. You yeah. want to practice? You want to rehearse? Sorry. No, you already did it. You just right, did right, it. Right, right. No, but you just did it. That's what frustrated. Right. You just did it. And then you did it twice in a row and you didn't do it. So let's just do it. So, um, but the There's thing nothing that, to talk about. You know how to do this. You've done it already. I know. That's well, let's do it. Let's shoot it. Let's shoot. Here we go. Right. Phil, pass out, please. Fill your, pa you your pass out, yeah. Phil. You're passed out on the bar. Slump across the bar. Put right it after the chip. No, right now. Put your oh. head down. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Now, when you hear the glass come down, that's when you wake up. A little higher, Lloyd. A little higher. Then do I fall? Yes. You after have, you, you have, drunk. After you drink. Action. Phil! 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 Phil, that's not how we did it. You just did it five minutes ago. The thing wakes you up. And you're like, whoa, here. You drink. And then you pass. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm going to kill you. Here we go. Here, Phil. Phil, you're passed out on the bar. Come on, Mario. Right. Phil, put, put your head apart. down. Put your head down, Phil. Oh, sorry. All right. There you are. And action. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Can someone pour a little bit more in the fills? Grape juice, yeah. Grape, grape. No grape juice. No more, no more booze for Phil. Thank you. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm not drinking that. Phil, please. Oh, I don't want that. Like, get out of the tub. Phil, Phil, you can't have any more. Like, you're not listening to anyone. I'm so wasted. But, oh, uh, computer, fuck off. So, uh, Lloyd, yeah. in this scene, you're going to tell Phil what he, uh, what he needs to hear. You're going to lean over to him, whisper in his ear. Okay. And then... So, like and then, this? I'll be like... Okay, Phil, no, no, Phil, do you remember? Oh, no, that's good. Phil, no, you're uh -oh. like... Phil, you're going to, yeah, like that. He whispers, Phil, look at me for a second. He whispers in your ear, and you're like... He tells you what you need to know. So then you look, and you want a pen. So you, you, you signal over to the bartender. I got it. And hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. I'm fucking wasted. <laughs> Action. <laughs> Action light. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Right. Let go and you're right, and then he gives it to you, and you're right on your hand with the big boy, with uh, with the man that half has told you. Yes, you're gonna yes. do this right it's the first time. Through. Yeah. First We're time. Ready. First We're time. Ready. First We're time. Ready. Once and once only. Uh, this is just this rehearsal. Is Action. It's a rehearsal. You're right on your hand. Now you're right on your hand. No. <laughs> Okay, are we going to film it, Phil? Will we do it right on your hand? Okay, give it back to Mike. <laughs> okay, when I give it to you, you got it right on your no, hand. No, Okay? <laughs> today was right, an experiment. Right I want you to explain the experiment to you afterwards, and you let me know if it worked Don't or not. Don't do anything else. Today was a hand. big experiment. All right, let's do this right before it falls. Okay, yeah. Phil, we're doing it. Let's do it. Okay, Phil, you ready? You're right, Mike? And action. I'm what? shooting! What? Oh. Phil, that's like $20 there you just wasted. Well, you didn't tell me what I was supposed to do. Yeah, yeah you're supposed Take to put it in your hand. Right I fucking told you a hundred times. Take the pen right in your hand. That's it. Okay? Okay? Okay. Phil, Phil, Take Phil. The pen. I give you no, the pen. No, no, Phil, no, 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 listen, no, 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 listen, no, no, listen. No, listen. No, listen. I know, Phil. I know, I know. Like, shut up. No, the, you, the, the man in the hat just told you what you needed to know, and so you're so drunk that you're going to write it on your hand so you don't forget. Phil, you didn't listen to me. No. You didn't listen. The man in the hat just told you what you needed to know, but you want to write it. You're going to write it on your hand so you don't forget what he told you. All right. Yeah. Give me the pen right, right on. Ready, Phil? And uh, action.
Phil, 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 not good. But he was really Big. drunk. Yeah. <laughs> it shows that he was drunk. a real drunk But uh, how, how, here, how Phil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, More. suck it up, Phil. Suck it up. Ready? Everyone ready? And action. Phil! What? Just start writing on your hand. Grab it, start writing on your hand, please. Phil, it's not funny. Phil. You know what you're doing? No, I'm not saying it's funny. Phil, grab it and start writing on your hand right away. Okay. It wasn't baby. <laughs> okay, so Lee, how did it go? Well, I think we're done. I, I do have a few more shots to get a, to get as a pickup, but uh, the experiment I think worked because the experiment was, and I didn't tell you that um, I wanted to get Phil drunk for the scene, uh, and, and because I thought a drunken performance would be funny, uh, and I think we got that. It might he might have been a little difficult to work with, but I don't know. But do you, do you think it was worthwhile? I mean, we did definitely got something out of Phil that uh, we might not have gotten if he stayed sober. But what do you think of the experiment? Do you think it was a good thing or a bad thing? Maybe it didn't work. Uh, you know, I'm I'm learning. You know, I think yeah. it's a learning experience. So. Yeah, you're right. You're right. This is something we never tried before, and I feel bad for Phil, and I'm proud of him to do it. You know, um, so uh, maybe he a little bit had too much to drink. I think his tomorrow is going to be done. I think his night's over in about an hour when we drive him home. Well, let's go look. Let's see. Yeah, let's go talk to him. Right, you no, think you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. Leave you're really funny. Get out of here. No, you're being really funny. But we've got a few more shots to go. You, have, you feel like doing a few more shots? No, I don't want to do a shot of uh, Lloyd putting you over his shoulder and carrying you out of here. Whoa. You know. Oh, God. Phil, that's the easier than throwing yourself down on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good big head to throw. Phil. Yeah. Have, have some water. Phil, drink some water. Shut up. <laughs> Poor Phil. Phil, honey, is a hell of a lot better than throwing yourself over them goddamn blessed steps. I mean. Remember? Excuse the language. You can, say, you you can say goddamn no, steps. No, I can. No, you I just can. did. No, I didn't. Take it back. <laughs> a lot worse than someone said here. Phil, it's your fault. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> He's a... Shut up. Does he have a coat? Does Phil have a coat? <laughs> Phil. Get your shit away. Anyway. Oh, I gotta go home. Don't yeah, talk to me. Yeah, okay, let's go. Okay, I'm going home. Yeah, yeah, I'm going home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What's happened? We didn't finish filming. My mother's going to drive Phil home. Why? Uh, Phil here. We're going to do some more, Lloyd. <laughs> I hope this is your jacket film. We're not putting some poor men. Oh my God. My mother's going to drive you home. Thank you. Oh, nice. Go. Oh. You go here, you go all the way. It's also juicy. Oh, what? Oh, where are you? Leave me alone. Come on, come on. So, so wait a minute. Now, that's Dave. That's not Phil. What, 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 what happened there, to Steve? Uh, Phil, uh, in the event that Phil couldn't perform his duties due to Jagermeister consumption, Dave has to fill in Phil. for Phil's hands. Fill in for Phil. Good it's job. unfortunate, but this is a little clunky. in the name of art, we go on. I need four more shots, and we're going to be able to do it in close-up with Dave Dullard instead of Phil. We're going to be haired up uh, Dave's hands, and uh, we're going to get you and Dave slamming down some drinks. Through and then color wrap. One, two, three. Nice.